In this video, we are going to explore two powerful methods to solve cubic equations, factorization and Cardano's method. Before we jump into solving cubic equations, let's make sure we understand what they are. A cubic equation is a polynomial equation of the form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to zero, where a, b, c and d are constants, and x is the variable we are trying to solve for. The first method we will explore is the factorization method. This method works best when there is a common factor among the terms in the equation. Let's see it in action with an example. Consider the cubic equation x cube minus 6x square plus 9x equal to 0. We can start by factoring out the common factor which is x, giving us x times x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0. And we can easily solve this quadratic equation. Now let's move on to Cardano's method. This method is more sophisticated and can handle any cubic equation. It involves substituting a new variable to simplify the equation into a depressed cubic. Here is a quick overview. To demonstrate Cardano's method, let's solve the cubic equation x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 equal to 0. First we substitute x equal to y minus b by 3a to eliminate the quadratic term giving us the depressed cubic form. When we look at the graph, we can clearly see that the graph has shifted toward left. If you want to know more, you must check out this video. Substitute x equal to y plus 2 to get y cube minus y equal to 0. Solve the depressed cubic equation. In this case, it's straightforward. y cube minus y equal to 0 factors as y times y minus 1 times y plus 1 equal to 0. Solve for y and then find x. In this example, we find three solutions for y and subsequently find the corresponding x values. If after substitution, we got our equation of the form y cube plus by plus q equal to 0, then we know that u plus v whole cube equal to u cube plus v cube plus 3 uv times u plus v. So we put y equal to u plus v and after comparing we get u cube plus v cube equal to minus q and 3uv equal to minus p. So, u cube times v cube equal to minus p cube by 27. Since these equations specify both the sum and the product of u cube and v cube, we can write a quadratic equation whose roots are u cube and v cube. The equation is t square plus qt minus p cube by 27. And the solution are If this is less than 0, then u cube and v cube are complex numbers. So these are the solution for this equation, where w is the cube root of unity. Now we can easily find the root of any cubic equation. Let's take an example to understand it properly. First we substitute x equal to y minus b by 3a to eliminate the quadratic term. So x equal to y minus 2. After simplification, we get y cube minus 24y plus 72 equal to 0. Now we compare this equation with this equation. We get u cube plus v cube equal to minus 72 and 3uv equal to 24. So u cube times v cube equal to 512. Now we can write quadratic equations whose root are u cube and v cube. So t plus 8 times t plus 64 equal to 0, t equal to minus 8 and minus 64. So we get u equal to minus 2 and v equal to minus 4. The roots of this equation are and we know that x equal to y minus 2 or y equal to x plus 2. So roots of this equation are 